focus. If you're looking for a way to kick off 2024 off right, you clicked on the right video. You're in the right place at the right time. Don't even worry about it. So basically, um, a lot of people are entering the New Year's, you know, and they had New Year's resolutions and goals for themselves that they set for themselves. And I feel like a lot of people uh, are going to need this video because a lot of people have already went back to their old ways. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel and Heroes 33. And we back with another video. So good to be back, man. I appreciate all the support. I, su I su appreciate the likes, man, the comments, bro. Um, Y'all rocking with me, man. We almost had 300 subs, bro. We two, two subscribers away from 300 subs. So let's get it. Yeah, let's clap it up for your boy. Man, shout out to y'all, man. This wouldn't be possible without y'all, so I appreciate y'all. But without further ado, I feel like a lot of people who went into this new year are already struggling with keeping their New Year's re resolutions and they're already going backwards to what they used to do in 2023. And I wanna just make this video real fast. I feel like someone needs to hear it. So basically, um, start doing this if you want to overcome laziness and procrastination. So what I do is, um, the first thing I do is wake up early. Waking up early, bro. I know it's so simple, it's so cliche. But waking up early in the morning, like waking up 5 a.m. in the morning, gives you room and opportunity to enjoy your day, to set your day up the right way. You know, waking up late, waking up around 12 o'clock, 1 p.m., knowing that you have things to do throughout the day, it's just very counterproductive. It's not gonna get you anywhere. So I say what works for me is getting up early, man, and sticking to a morning routine. Like create a morning routine, something that you can follow, something that's um, it's gonna help you start your day off right so you can so you can succeed and win the day. So, you know, don't worry about what other people are doing this year. Don't worry about what your friends are doing, what your mama and daddy is doing. Just focus on you. This year is about you. So create your night routine as well. You know, the night before is very important as well. You have to obviously, you know, you have to obviously write down what you want to do the next day. Um, what I like to do, me personally, is I like to uh, put in, put into my notes right here on, you know, I got to do this, I got to do that. I got to make sure I wake up at this time so I can be on time for this and that. So the night, Routine is very important, bro. Get that down pack and your morning routine will feel effortless. And, you know, I would say try not to go to bed um, no later than 12 if you're trying to wake up five in the morning. That's just me, but if you have to um, go to bed a little bit earlier because you want to get some more rest, um, but we're going to keep it going. So you want to get your full eight hours. Um, I would say, yeah, go to bed around about 10 or 11, no later than that. But yeah, guys, man, get into a good routine early, bro. Don't wait until next week. Don't wait until no time. Like, it's either now or never, right? That's what I learned, bro. And, you know, if you hit the gym in the morning, bro, as soon as you uh, finish your morning routine, you can go ahead and hit the gym, add that to your routine in the morning, and you'll feel like, you'll feel unstoppable. You'll feel like, you know, nothing that happens throughout the day will stop you. Like, your attitude changes your discipline, your mind as well. So that's a big bonus. Uh, I would tell a lot of people who struggle with uh, getting up early in the morning, who, look, I'm talking to the people who claim they're not morning people, right? Um, anybody anybody can become a morning person. My, me, myself, I'm not a morning person, but I still do what I gotta do. No excuses, because I want it bad. I want to succeed. So you, you just gotta get clear with yourself on do I really want this? Do I really want to change my life? Because it starts with the little things, quite frankly. So um, after that, you know, replace the time that you spend on social media. Like, it, bro, as soon as you wake up in the morning, bro, you shouldn't even be thinking about looking on your phone, right? Your notifications should be disabled. You should have your phone on do not disturb because you don't want to wake up in the morning and you see a text from someone that you text the night before and they gave you some they text you some BS or text you something that, that's gonna interrupt your day, your mood and stuff. So I, I would say stay away from the phone, bro, completely. But if you're a person who makes money from their phone or from social media, um, I would say, you know, just wait at least like 15 minutes after you waking up because you gotta give your mind 
um, time to like, you know, wake up fully. You gotta do some push-ups, man. You know, you gotta give your you gotta give your body time for, to wake up. Based on what I'm trying to say, and you know, throughout the day you shouldn't even be scrolling. No ways, you know, especially if you're not making money from social media. Like that's a lot. That's a that's a reason why a lot of people struggle with um, low self-esteem and comparing themselves to other people because they're looking at other people's lives, right? When they haven't even uh, conquered the day, they haven't even got anything done, and they're looking at other people, um, you know, being productive, living their best life, and it, it it's just backwards though. It's just bad for your mental health, bro. So limit your time you spend scrolling, you know. So next up we got replace that time that you spend on social media, right? Replace it with hobbies and activities that you enjoy. Some that can um, keep you moving, keep you keep your mind busy because the idle mind, you know, they say is a devil's playground. And we don't want to be um, you know, interrogated. We don't want to be punished by them urges because them urges start coming in strong you're just sitting around playing the game watching movies or just sitting in the house smoking weed all day that stuff triggers your urges to want to go relapse to want to go you know hit up a, hit up a chick and go hit, hit hit some cheeks like we don't want that we want to stay strong we want to build a foundation for ourselves so you know just find out what you like to do bro like what do you like to do you know find out who you are your hobbies and replace that time with social media bro like it's that simple it's really that simple but a lot of people are not mentally strong to do that so that's why i'm making this video but i'm hoping that i'm helping somebody um yeah just keep going bro and you know once one day you start you know you get your morning your night routine out the way you know you hit the gym you made money that day you do that and you repeat that process the next day the next day the next day next thing you know bro you didn't change your whole life. You didn't change the mood. You didn't change the way you saw yourself. You didn't make X amount of money. You didn't make. You didn't brought. You know more income into your into your life. Like this, like this is what we want as men, bro. We want to become our greatest versions. We, we don't want no distractions. And I'm going to talk about women in this, bro. So, um, if you're a guy uh, who are you're not where you want to be in life, you want to you like like you want to create a better life for yourself this year. You're gonna have to cut off women. Like, that's probably something that you don't want to hear, but you're gonna have to do it. Because, you know, unless you have that discipline to separate yourself from women, you know, and still be able to manage your life, manage your job and your business, then I would say, if you can't, I would say just leave them alone, bro. You know, they, they, they will always be there. You know, going out every weekend, that will always be there. You gotta put yourself first, put your purpose first. How bad do you want it? It all comes back to that. And next up we have, you know, um, well, to piggyback off what I just said, you know, talking about women, thinking about women. Like, bro, like everything is not about women, bro. It's not about, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's she doing? Oh, she texting me this. Oh, she bullshit. Oh, she want to start arguments and stuff. Like, bro, that stuff takes up a lot of mental energy, bro. And People be worried about the wrong things. Like, like if you guys out here would be, like, I'm talking to these guys, bro. Like, you be worried about the wrong thing, bro. You gotta get your priorities straight, bro. Like, I just made a video, literally, about a guy who went a month without any lights in his house, but instead he went and bought designer shoes, bro. And his female was was exposing him, talking about how he needs to get his priorities straight, and he was just comfortable, like, on camera, just being lazy. Having designer shoes, having the best shoes, but your lights is off, bro. You know, this, this, this just all goes back to, you know, what are your responsibilities? You have to be responsible as a man, bro. No one is coming to save you. No one is coming to hand you anything. You have to work for it. Um, yeah, and just overall, bro, stop sitting in the house, bro. This is how you overcome laziness and procrastination. Because when you sit in the house, you literally, um, you're more prone to overeat or eat more than what you should be eating. You're more prone to um, want to look at explicit scenes, want to look at corn and stuff. You're more prone to just, you know, not being productive, bro. Like, ever since I've been on retention, I've been wanting to just move, move, move. Like, I gotta stay busy. I gotta, you know, learn something new. I'm always expanding my mind, bro. And I hang around people who 
who actually challenges me. People who want to see me do better, so they challenge my, you know what I'm saying, my routine, you know, the way I do things, and they just add to it and just make me better. So surround yourself around the right people, bro. Of course, right? So, cause like you are who you hang around with, right? And you know, the energy that y'all have in your clique or your group is going to affect how you think. So if you hang around lazy people, bro, people who just want to smoke all day, play the game, play Fortnite, these people will never be successful in life, bro. Regardless of what they have going on, what about you? You can't worry about them. You gotta worry about you, my guy. This is your life. You only get one life. You have 365 days, the same amount of days that the average millionaire has or the person that you look up to. You have the same 24 hours as them. Make the best out of it, bro. Get the best out of your time. Time is very limited. So I hope this video helped you out, man. If you found any value from this video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I'm out.